Meine Damen und Herren, diese Geschichte heißt Schafskälte. Die ganze Welt war voller Schnee. Der früh aufgegangene Mond, die sanft erhellten Fenster und das Glitzern der Lichter auf dem allgegenwärtigen Weiß ließen die Stadt leuchten. His words are poetic and full of black humor. Ewald Ahrens writes short stories, novels and plays. In 2005, he received an award for his contribution to culture in the city. Nuremberg is a city of thousand years history, with ups and downs. And of course, Nuremberg is full of attractions and sites and all that. But there are few places, a few special places, quite inspiring places. Three of them I would like to show to you. We start by following Ahrens to the part of the city known as St. Peter to visit a place somewhat out of the way, the historic tram depot. This is Ahrens' first recommendation. Visitors can admire more than 20 different trams from horse-driven vehicles to coal-powered ones. Some of them are more than 100 years old. They've all been carefully restored. The Historische Straßenbahn Depot in Nuremberg is one of my favorite places. It's a big toy shop for everyone who likes trams and history. And it shows all the history of the Nuremberg trams since 1900. And the best thing is you can take a trip from here in one of the historical wagons. That is what we are going to do now. This classic vehicle was made in 1904. Experts spent 4,000 hours restoring it. Tourists can book a tour of the city in the tram along the route of the old city walls. This place is where the very first station in Europe was situated, right now, right here. Our tram journey ends, and Ahrens leads us to an area called St. Johannes. His second recommendation is the Hesperides Gardens Coffee House. Customers can sit back and enjoy some good old-fashioned atmosphere. Let me invite you to this beautiful cafe. It's a very traditional place and it has beautiful gardens in the back which you can take a walk in after you've had your coffee here or a cup of tea or whatever and um, try it. It's really, really nice. Quite an inspiration. Wealthy merchants cultivated citrus fruit here back in the 17th and 18th centuries. Today, visitors can marvel at ornate fountains and sculptures that seem to be out of a fairy tale. Ahrens has brought these characters to life in his story. Fawns and watermen, trolls, dwarfs from the gardens, they all went down to the market and to the inner city, and they were a lively people. Right in the middle of the city, Ahrens leads us into a secret underworld. His third recommendation is Nuremberg's underground passages. A complex of corridors and cellars built below Nuremberg's old town in the Middle Ages. This is a very special thing. Um, this is really a secret. You have to come here and see the caves on four levels, miles and miles under the hills and mountains of uh, Nuremberg. And they were used for beer brewing and all that and storing. And it's a really historic place and very, very interesting. Visitors with more time to spare can tour a brewery and try a red beer. This was a popular variety in the city in the 18th century. Ewald Ahrens recommends Nuremberg's underground passages. The Hesperides Gardens Coffee House. And the historic Tram Depot.